Hello, and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. In today's lesson, I'm going to demonstrate how you can show values in your pivot table as a percentage of. For example, as a percentage of the column, or even as a percentage of the running total. Now, I participate in sharing groups on LinkedIn, and in one of the sharing groups, the question was raised, I have a pivot table, and I need help to be able to show my values as a percentage of the total sales, and also as a percentage of the cumulative total. In other words, percentage of the running total. And many comments went back and forth, and I just figure it's so much easier to just show you how to do it. So that's what I'm going to do in this video. All right, I've started the pivot table over here. And by the way, I'm using Excel 2010. Later in the lesson, I'm going to go and show you how to perform the same calculations in Excel 2007. All right, what we want to do is add sales into the values area a total of three times in this lesson. Now I'm going to do it one at a time. So sales is now in my uh, pivot table. Now since I'm going to be putting sales in here uh, three times, I want to have a better total here, and I also want to format the number. So the easiest way to do that, I think, is to just right mouse click a single cell in the field come into value field settings the custom name that I want to give this is revenue and I want to change the format to be currency with zero decimal places click OK and then click OK to close the value field settings all right there's sales the first time let's drag sales in the second time over here what I want to do is I want to show the sales as a percentage of the total now before I go any further what I want to do is I want to make sure that my products are sorted not in alphabetical sequence by their name. Rather, I want to see that they are sorted in descending order by their total sales. So here's how you do it. Come over here as though you were going to filter the names and choose more sort options. In this case, what we're going to do is we're going to create a rule. So you see, rather than coming over here and sorting, uh, you know, as a one-off, we want to create a rule. So we're going to sort this field, which is uh, the pr uh, product, in descending order, not based upon product name, but on revenue. So descending by revenue click OK and there you go. Alright now over here what I want to do of course I want to change the name and I want to change it to show these values as a percentage of the total. So in other words the percentage of the column. Now one of the great improvements in Excel 2010 pivot tables is pivot table tools options and over here in the calculations we have all of the possible ways that you can show values as. Now, 90% of these have been available for many uh, versions of Excel pivot tables, but they've just been hard to locate. So in this case, I want to show it as a percentage of the column total. And there you go. Now, I want to change the name, and I want to change it to be zero decimal places. So you don't format individual cells. You format a field. So for the value field settings, I'll call this uh, PCT of total. And normally, and I'll show you this in Excel 2007, this is how we get the show values as. So on the value field settings, remember to click on this tab and then remember to come down and click on the type of show value as. So let's come back here. I've changed the name. Let's change the format. I want to have this as a percentage with zero decimal places. Click OK and click OK. All right, there you go. Now, the third time that we drag sales into the values area, this time what I want to do is I want to show this field as a percentage of the cumulative total. In other words, a percentage of the running total. Now, this is a lot easier to do in Excel 2010 than in earlier versions. Once again, I'll come back up here to Pivot Table Tools Options, and in the Show Values As, we have always had a running total, but one of the new calculations that's been added in Excel 2010 pivot tables is percentage running total in. And in this case, of course, it's going to be in product. Now, the second uh, menu will always show up. If there were other options, they would appear in there. Click OK, and there you go. So 21 plus 20 equals 41. Let's change the name, and let's change the formatting. So right mouse click 
value field settings I want to change the name to be PCT running total I can always go back and change it as I wish. So you see that's so much easier than to remember to come over here and then click the percentage of the running total. And I really love this feature. And of course I want to change the number format, percentage, zero decimal places, click OK, click OK. And there you go. All right, now let me come over and I'll show you how we can perform something similar in Excel 2007. Now, I've already created over here uh, the, uh, the, the three calculations. So in the first one, it's a simple sum of sales. Remember that I want to show sales in descending order. So you remember that over in this, uh, in, in this filter, I come in to the more sort options and remember to create that rule. We want to create the rule so that the labels will be sorted not by their label name, but by the calculation, sum of sales in descending order. The second one was fairly easy to create. This is the percentage of the column. So over here, what I did in uh, value field settings is come over here into the show values as, and remember to use the drop down, so the percentage of the column. And of course, I, changed, I would change the name and change the formatting. The third one is more difficult. Now also notice that I've applied formatting so that I've used um, the, uh, the transparency. So I, I use the font to be a transparent font and I also use the, uh, uh, the background color to be, to be a transparent because what I actually did over here when I went into value field settings is I showed the values as the running total. So it's an actual currency number. We don't have in Excel 2007 and earlier the new percentage of running total. Percentage of running total in has been added new in Excel 2007. Instead, what I did is I changed the font and I can move this column so that it almost doesn't disappear. And then outside the pivot table, I made sure that in the pivot table, I went into the options over here in options and I turned off the generate get pivot table. So now I just created outside the pivot table a calculation which will take this number and divide it by the absolute number of the grand total. So there's a workaround. I, I really do like the new features in Excel 2010 for showing the values as, as a drop down. And there you go. You've learned how to create uh, three times the sales field in a pivot table. Once is the total sales, once is the percentage of the total sales, and then once as a percentage of the running total. And I have tips like this available on my DVD-ROM, the 50 best tips for Excel 2007, and I'll look for you in the next lesson.